Hi students, in this video we will be discussing about a golden opportunity for engineering students to do project work in ISRO. Okay, so the website URL is vssc.gov.in slash students. This will be in capital letters dear students and a slash. So when you click there, the students portal will be opening and here you can see home, opportunities, codes, training, frequently asked questions and VSSC. So if you want Hindi version, you can click on Hindi version also. Okay, so if you scroll, if you scroll up like this, so here you can see academic project work and internship for undergraduate students that is BE, BTEC, BSc, Diploma Project Work, ME, MTech, Master of Science, Integrated MSc, BS, MS Project Work and PhD Project Work and internship at VSSC. Okay, so if you click on BE, BTEC, BSc, Diploma Project Work, so here you can see you can download the guidelines for BE, BTEC, BSc, Diploma Project Work and you can download the application form. Now, let me show you how will be this application form. If you click on this download application form, so the application form will be visible like this. So here you can see there are four pages dear students. So let me show from the first page onwards where you can see the entire important points that are to be noted by the student and at the same time how to apply for the application form. So that all will be there here. So here Human Resource Development Division, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Tiruvananthapuram. So this is the place where you people can do the project work. So general instruction for final year BE, BTEC, BSc and Diploma Academic Project Work Applicants. So the applicant should be a citizen of India. So applicant or applicants, see usually in BTEC we will be doing project work by a group of members. So that is the reason here it is said that applicant or applicants. So single applicant or multiple applicants. So project work shall be carried out either individually or as a group of maximum four members. Applicants group of maximum four must be from same branch semester and college. Project work is offered to students pursuing BE, BTEC, BSc, Physics, Chemistry and Diploma, Electronics, Mechanical and Computer Science. So the minimum and maximum duration for project work are as follows. BE, BTEC project minimum 45 days, maximum duration is 90 days. For BSc, Physics, Chemistry 45 days and 60 days and Diploma, Electronics, Mechanical and Computer Science 45 days is the minimum duration and 60 days is the maximum duration. So the students can choose one out of the eight block periods as given below for carrying out project work and project work should be completed in a single stretch. So try to remember that. So these are the blocks. So 1st January to 15th February, 16th February to 31st March, 1st April to 15th May, then 16th May to 30th June, 1st July to 15th August, 16th August to 30th September, 1st October to 15th November and 16th November to 31st December. Then prerequisites. So what are the prerequisites for applying to the project work? So BE, BTEC candidates, they need to complete their sixth semester and up to fifth semester, they need to have a minimum 60% or CGPA of 6.32 on a scale of 10. So this is the eligibility criteria. So for BSc and diploma students, diploma final year students, up to second year 60% is required. Then BSc Physics Chemistry completed fourth semester, up to fourth semester they need to have minimum 60% and CGPA of 6.32 on a scale of 10. So this is the prerequisite for applying the project work. Then a detailed bio data must be attached separately with the details of education qualifications, previous internships, project done, if any skills, areas of interest, work experience, all these things. The application form should be duly filled by student and HOD or principal of the college or institution in all respects, failing which the application will be rejected. So in the application form, two parts will be there. One should be filled by the candidates and the second one should be filled by the HOD or principal of the college. Then the completed application form should be received in 
HRDD VSSC at least 45 days prior to the commencement of project work block period. So, if you have selected a block, I have shown you already the block details. If you have selected a block before 45 days of the block starting date, the application should reach the HRDD department of VSSC. Okay. Then, the most important thing, no stipend, remuneration or financial assistance will be given by VSSE or ISRO during the period of the project work. The students shall be permitted to carry out project work only at the unclassified areas of VSSE or ISRO. The number of students selected for project work may vary due to facility constraints. It is the prerogative of VSSE to accept or reject the application form. So, depending upon the availability of the space and facilities only the applications will be accepted okay so the sole discretion whether to up whether to accept or reject the application will be with this vssc only on account of large number of applicants applications received for project work it may not be possible to accommodate all the applicants so therefore the students are advised to identify other organizations also as an alternative in the event of their application not getting through in the selection process. Okay. So, this is also an important point dear students. The application may be sent by post to head HRDD VSSC ISRO PO Tiruvananthapuram 695 022 this is the pin code or a scanned copy of application may be mailed to Preeti underscore Elizabeth at vssc.gov.in decision on the acceptance or rejection of the application will be communicated to the HOD or principal of the college. So, this is the thing decision of the acceptance or rejection will be sent to your HOD or principal. So, that will be the thing. Now, coming to the application form. So, I told you two parts will be there. One should be filled by the candidates. So, here part A to be completed by the applicants. So, you need to click on the course of study what you are studying then project block period so project block period so already instructions are there as per that instruction you have to enter the block period then date of commencement of project work date of completion of project work so both the things you have to enter then name of the first applicant department current semester or year college institution permits to do project work in which semester so some colleges will permit in the seventh semester some project some colleges they will permit in the eighth semester okay so depending upon that you need to write that name of the college institution with address and pin code so this is also the thing address of the first applicant with pin code then relevant informations if any to be noted and email id mobile number and signature with date so this is all for the first applicant then the remaining applicants co applicants their details should be filled in this table and their signature should be done accordingly. So, maximum only 4 applicants can be there for one project. Okay. Then, photographs of the applicants. So, 4 photographs are given. Then, these should be attested by the principal or HOD. So, try to remember that. Then, the application form should be duly filled by student and HOD or principal of the college or institution in all respects for which failing which the application will be rejected. The completed application form should be received in HRDD VSSC at least 45 days prior to the commencement of the project work block period. So, this point already we have discussed. So, if selected for internship in VSSC, the college ID and one valid ID proof. So, one valid ID proof passport or water ID or driving license or other of the applicants along with one copy, one Xerox copy must be produced for verification and document at the time of joining. Okay. So, the project work should be completed within the stipulated period. The student should strictly follow all rules and guidelines and security norms of VSSC or ISRO while in the campus. Okay. Any deviation from this will be treated seriously and the internship will be terminated immediately without any further notice. The project work guide in VSSC will be the reporting officer for the student during the period of the internship. So, this is the thing. Then part B. So, part B should be 
completed by the applicants and certified by the principal or HOD of the college. Okay. So, the project work requested by the applicants is the main project in the final year which is part of the curriculum and will be evaluated in university examination. The applicants if selected will abide by all the conditions stipulated by VSSE ISRO. It is certified that the students will not present, publish whole or any part of the project, report in any conference, seminar, workshop, journal, book, etc. either in print or electronic media without prior permission of VSSE guide and approval from concerned entity or project chief other than project work presentation in the college or university for the examination process. In case of publication of project work, the VSSE guides will be cited as the co-authors of the paper. So, this is an important point dear students, try to remember. So, until and unless you have permission from the guide, VSSE guide and the VSSE ISRO body, you should not publish that project report in any paper okay, or conference, you need not, you should not do anything in the conference or workshop or journal or book. Okay. So, the details again should be filled. So, what is the year, aggregate percentage? character and conduct of the student, all these things should be filled by you and signature should be by the principal or HOD, his name, phone number, email ID, date and college seal should be present. Okay. So, this is about the application form which you have to submit at the VSSE 45 days prior to the project duration period. Okay, students. So, this is a golden opportunity, try to utilize this opportunity so that you can go and work in one of the best organizations of India that is ISRO. Okay, thank you, all the very best.